Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Squat Bench Dead Saturday. We're getting it on. Couple big lifts. Going beltless on the squats. Going uh, snatch grip on the deads. And a big bench PR on the comeback. Trying to bench over 405 pounds. Welcome. If you want to see PRs, do me a freaking favor. Like the video right now. I need it. I want it. I want some more of it. I want you to want me. Uh, I love you to, to love me. We are live every single night. Twitch.tv slash SilentMichael2Ks. Comment below. I got a conventional deadlift tip video coming. We got this bad boy and a couple other chats heading your way. But comment below what you want to see. Let's dive in. So typically, uh, it's kind of my heavy deadlift day. Um, but my week got mixed up a little bit. So I decided to switch things up. So it's my variation deadlift day. It's my medium squat day, which I'm now doing high bar. And heavy bench day just for this week. Uh, typically, it'll probably be medium bench, medium squat, and uh, variation on the deadlift. But my boy Riley, we talked about two videos ago, who I'm now coaching, trying to get him that uh, well over 600-pound pull, 600-pound squat in wraps, probably going to aim for a 500-ish in sleeves in this first uh, training cycle, and get him to bench well into the 300s. I think his best is around 319 or so. Um, so I'm really excited to up his frequency. We talked frequency. We talked training in the past on what he's getting into, and today is his uh, heavier squat day. So he's squatting two to three times, deadlifting twice, benching three times, um, and he's never handled this kind of frequency ever. Back in the day, five, six years ago, I coached him a little bit, and we did like one heavy squat day and kind of a gimme squat day. Uh, but for the first time in a long time, uh, he's really getting after it. So he's been kind of cruising, lifting some weights, um, still handling some okay volume, uh, but he hasn't pushed himself. So even today, it's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. And by men, I mean PR. And by PR, I mean send me a Grammy for that song I just sang, You Guys Are Welcome. Uh, he's basically going to hit, I think, 425, don't quote me, we'll see in a second, um, sleeved squat, which is his heaviest, he said, in years. Um, he is a, he is a, 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 a wrapped squatter, um, and then again, he handles a lot of volume in his training, but he hasn't really worked with this type of frequency method, and also just kind of handling, you know, a nice little RPE8 single here and there. So we're starting to get him used to that. Uh, something I've noticed in his training for a long time. Now that I've been training with him a couple months now, uh, is that his just consistency in his pace, how fast he descends, um, his consistency and his balance on his unrack and his walkout just aren't there. So there's a couple cues. You guys can't hear him right here, um, but I'm talking about taking his pace. I'm talking about finding his balance. Uh, in between sets, I'm talking to him about being a robot. I said, let's find these routines. Let's find routines. Let's find routines. Um, and he's slowly, slowly starting to get there. Uh, even little things like spending more time under the bar right here. It's very common. I see people, uh, you know, on the heavier set, I know you're trying to psych yourself up because you're a little bit nervous about the weight. Maybe you're fearful. You'll miss it. Uh, intimidated by what's going on. I want you to spend the exact same amount of time getting underneath the barbell, breathing underneath the barbell with 135 as you would with 800 pounds. Uh, no matter the weight on the bar, I want you to try to act the same. I want the descent the same, and I want you to drive into the bar the exact same. 135, I want you to push into that sucker like it's your PR. When it is your PR, I want you to push into that sucker like it's more than your PR. Um, there it is. I think it's 425. I can't see if there's a little chipper there. Look like it's a 10 pound uh, and he moved it really well. Uh, and two, to kind of be the asshole old head dog, um, I did throw a belt on, I lied, it's not beltless, but I'm going high bar for my accessory day. My quads are actually feeling really strong. I'm feeling really poppy lately. Um, I had to do it for a triple just to kind of give them, you know, just throw them a little bird, if middle finger to the sky, let them know like, hey, uh, I want you to succeed but you're going to have to chase me down. So here I am trying to show the balance on his squat. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. I think the first rep, he wiggles a little bit. Um, but the other two, he stays very, very well uh, on the midfoot. And that's something I talk to a lot of people. I say, think about having your shin bone. 
uh, drive from your knee through the ground. And think about, I know this is getting a little dark, um, stapling you into the ground, having your entire foot on the ground. Once we find that balance and once we start to find our groove in the squat, um, it literally just turns into a leg press. Then, then you can worry about pushing into the bar, right? So once we get comfortable getting that back tight, comfortable on a walkout, comfortable finding our balance where our bar path is straight up and down over our midfoot, now literally squatting just becomes a game. All you have to do is push into it. I'm actually moving real well here. The 425 wasn't as bouncy as I wanted, but we're looking a little snappy, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting flashes. Uh, it's only taken about two months, um, but I'm starting to get a little more consistent. I'm starting to get my protein in. My sleep's still wild. Um, I've been waking up 445, 5 in the morning. Uh, I basically work until 2. Um, miscellaneous. Uh, I get a little uh, workout in sometimes, uh, two, two or three times during the work week. Then I head home. I'm eating the best I can, showering, you know. Then I'm right back onto Twitch for a three, four hour stream. I get off and then it's back on the laptop or computer for some design work with these drops coming. Um, I'm basically handling all the design work. So I'm really excited to sh share with you guys what I've been creating. But uh, my schedule is chaos. So despite my food being up and down, I'm trying to aim for that protein. And despite my sleep being, you know, what it, what it is, it is what it is. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with my progress. Uh, if you stay tuned, I have a nice big conventional PR coming. Again, we have a, a, a video on some of the cues I use for conventional pulls um, and some things. Everyone says like, Mike, you lift so smooth and, and Mike, you make it look so easy. Um, I think that should be everyone's goal. There's no reason that you can't find a technique that's good for you and lift in a zone um, where you're struggling, it's not like we're not struggling. I, I hit RPE eights and nines when, when, when the time is right, but, um, I do try to be very efficient and I like to be pretty. You guys want another song? Pretty. I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty, pretty gay. So what you want to do again, is start to treat these lifts, squat, bench, dead, overhead, even pull-ups. I start to think them as I'm shooting free throws. I played basketball my whole life. Maybe you guys played soccer and you think about them as penalty kicks. Maybe you played golf and you think about it as every stroke. Um, maybe you think about football and you're the quarterback, you know, doing a two-step drop. I try to build these routines in everything I do to how I think, how I chalk up, how I approach the bar, how I grab the bar, what I tighten when. Um, and then it just becomes, it just becomes a flow. It just becomes a flow and you can really start to think about one or two cues that you need to get yourself going. And even after that, you get so proficient, proficient and efficient, uh, that you literally just start worrying about pushing to the bar real good. Um, some I'm experimenting with, we're talking about variations of lifts. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hitting the high bar once or twice a week, my normal competition squat once or twice a week, uh, bench, I'm hitting the competition style twice a week and a close grip feet up once a week deadlifts, the competition stance, which I don't know right now. I think I'm going to push conventional a little bit. And then on my variation of deadlift, just to keep things spicy, uh, cause half of this battle is literally just enjoying yourself, is uh, I'm going to switch kind of back and forth, and I've kind of been doing it, a snatch grip conventional, and more of a uh, candido, wide grip, I guess sumo stance snatch grip would be the candido, someone asked what that was in the last video, it's it's a sumo stance wide grip, or snatch grip sumo stance, we call it the candito with a T, for my boy Johnny, who's uh, been a legend, living young legend in powerlifting, has done a lot for coaching the sport, the USAPL, um, and strength and YouTube in general, so I think those are going to be my main two variations, I'm going to try to handle over 50% in them for some reps, again, beltless, mostly just because I'm lazy, um, I actually don't think that beltless transfers as well or does the magic that everyone thinks. You can't just do six weeks of beltless, throw on a belt and squat a 50 pound PR. There's some, you know, diminishing returns there. And then also, uh, comfortability, com comfort, uh, ability, um, in the belt. So you just want to get back into that routine. And the more you use the belt, I actually think the more efficient you get in the belt, like everything else. So um, ditching it all the time probably won't help. Uh, I spared you guys all the warm ups. I've been actually kind of cruising through bench. Um, I kind of know I'm feeling snappy and strong again. When the jumps I take on my lifts, uh, I could jump plates or quarters and not feel like I'm going to explode. Uh, so I think I went one third, or I took the barbell for 10, 
135 for 10, 225 for 10, uh, 275 for 5, 315 right there. Now we're at 335, I believe. Um, oh, I smoked that, baby. Snoop Dogg, where you at? Willie Nelson. Uh, and here we go with 355, uh, which actually moves really well for me. Um, heaviest I've touched in a long, long time. Do a couple drop sets. I think I take 335 for sets of four, uh, which again is really good volume work for the stage I'm at. I want to obviously get this up to 355, 365 for my working sets of four to five. That's the ultimate goal in the next couple months here, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, Twitch fam, you guys are popping. We're live Monday through Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for a couple hours. Come hang out. We can talk fitness, music, sports. Well, I game out, put on a little show. Um, new podcast, 50% Facts, iTunes, Spotify. I appreciate you guys so much. The love is there, and I'm feeling it. Uh, the energy is there, and I'm feeling it. 2021, ladies and gentlemen, the year of content. Uh, 3sb.co for all my info. Appreciate y'all.